Hello everybody, hope you're all well and um, lockdown is in whatever stage it is for you and things are going quite nice. I, I appear to have a big plant growing out of my head this evening. Um, I just want to do a brief chat tonight about the fact that I have put together another brief blog about that first um, kind of target setting and goal setting stage that I did when I started my real recovery back in um, early 2019. Um, it's only a very, very brief blog that I've put on um, lifeandrecovery.co.uk to sort of just a starting point of how, yes, I did set some initial goals, but actually it was a case of just a momentary decision to just crack on and I was sick of waiting for another day and I was sick of trying to plan and plan and plan. And actually planning was what was putting me off, was what was slowing everything down, to be honest. Um, and how what it was, was I'd been working on some stuff to do with um, the cycle of change and my occupational therapist. Check it out if you don't know what it is, cycle of change you're looking for. It's a, quite a canny little model to, to be thinking about plotting and, and, and how you might go through recovery. And I'd given it all just bullshit lip service up until that point but something happened in one particular session beginning of January and it just kind of kick-started me starting to set some goals so in the blog I just speak about the very very basic goals I did and you'll see they're really really basic basic goals I did to start off with before I then set my real real goals um going forward but actually that initial sort of tiny miniature goal setting strategy was really important because we got it got me in the mindset of of that idea of action and and having to have these committed choices all the time and and then starting to break down bit by bit the the behaviors that that I kind of tackled and and, and went on bit by bit as I went through gradual and phased exposure remember I'm not an all-in girl um some part of me really wishes I had been at some point but it just wasn't for me um, so that's just the initial stages I know some people have been asking about and then I'll I'll document over over the weeks um, the kind of the rest of things that I did in those early early days the first big one being saying things out loud I can't stress enough how important that was and actually funny enough I went for a walk with my friend today and we we're both chuckling about you know the importance of saying things out loud um, I started that on this very very day one that I mentioned in the blog and and it is something that made a huge difference to me that committing I sent them out loud, kind of like committed it to the ether, committed it to the to the environment, to the world, to Mother Nature, uh, committed it to myself and other people could then help me out. I opened up, I stopped being secretive, I stopped hiding and I started to really, really ask for and accept proper, proper help. Um, so just just get started. If you're struggling, get started. I put a post a few days ago about... Um, not just not waiting for the perfect day just get started so whatever time it is with you now grab some supper or when you wake up in the morning grab a breakfast and just get going with some really maybe simple steps to get you started off and then start thinking about your proper goals later don't wait to decide on your proper goals because that day will never come because anorexia will keep making you put it off and off and off and off um, anyway, check out the blog. I'll put a link down here. Um, if you don't like reading, then um, I'll be doing more videos as we go through, so so don't panic. Um, that's from bye from me and my crazy plant. I'll see you soon. Bye.